Hey, what's up? Welcome everybody. We are going to start a new series. Uh, in this series, we'll be uh, building something like this uh, project management application like uh, Trello. So if you are not familiar with Trello, you can uh, go and sign up. Basically, it is a project uh, management tool uh, where you'll be uh, making the boards uh, and if you go inside board, you'll have these lists of cards so uh, this is like having a big picture of any project so if a team is working on project and uh, they will be working on some tasks while building some website so it can be used for that as well so for uh, I use uh, this Trello for uh, keeping track of uh, YouTube videos to do uh, videos and any new idea uh, that uh, that comes in my mind I just add cards uh, video on lumen or something like that okay so as I go along I'll put this on uh, in progress so basically it uh, it will give you idea where your project is going what you are doing uh, just project management or keeping track of your tasks so uh, this will be uh, the application we'll be building so for this front end i'm planning to use uh, Vue.js, uh, not inside laravel uh, just separately and we'll be building for back end we'll be building it on uh, lumen so which is just like a laravel uh, but it, it is like a small brother of laravel which is uh, just made for apis so our API will be built on this Lumen, uh, which will be consumed by Vue.js to build this application. So first we'll build uh, the API. So from API will be, uh, which will allow us to um, perform the CRUD operation for these boards. So uh, these are the boards and inside board, there will be cards. So it's like notebook and notes or to-do lists. Okay, so uh, in this video we'll get familiar with this Lumen. I'll just keep uh, uh, the quick introduction and then we'll start uh, building our API. So you'll learn about API authentication, how to build a better API, uh, efficient API with Lumen. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. So let's uh, go to documentation. So if you are already familiar with Laravel, it won't be much difficult. I'll just uh, uh, give what is the difference between uh, both. So um, by default, many features of Laravel are disabled in Lumen, but you can easily activate them. So for example, so installation is done by uh, Similarly, like uh, we have Lumen installer, installer to install application, or you can go through Composer. So let's uh, install this. So for uh, development, I use this Laragon. Let's go to root folder, and here I will open up Commander. So we'll install using this uh, Composer. Okay, so the name of API will be okay. Just give it name web llo, just like Trello. Okay, weblo API. Okay, it will take some time. Meanwhile, we'll explore this. So uh, basically, you have uh, same thing like routes, but it is slightly different. So you can create new route like this app get similarly you have post put patch all requests so everything else will be same so uh, redirection and uh, grouping of route adding middleware name spacing route prefix so you can see in documentation there are uh, limited number of topics so uh, middleware will be uh, same uh, controllers will be similar to that let's uh, see authentication so uh, authentication we do not have uh, the uh, session based authentication uh, 
the difference is uh, we'll have to use the API token so API token will be stored inside a user table yeah we'll, we'll uh, create authentication which will be the uh, one of the major part while building API let's go to our uh, database how you perform query and all those so uh, you can use uh, you, you can query uh, the table results by using app db so this is by default and if you want to use the db facade you need to uncomment uh, the line with facade in bootstrap slash app similarly you need to uh, uncomment with an eloquent to use eloquent so by default you cannot use on lumen so other query builder are same as laravel and other stuff are same so only difference is uh, to activate these you need to just activate inside your uh, bootstrap slash app let's see validation so uh, validation will be slightly different uh, it it will return so this validate method will return a JSON response so we don't need to do anything it will uh, just return a JSON response by default okay so uh, everything else will be same as uh, Laravel so these are some of the point uh, some of the difference between uh, Lumen and Laravel so because we are using only limited features uh, it will be lightweight and slightly faster than Laravel so we'll be using these kind of response all the time uh, we need to uh, return the JSON response with some message and status code so if you want to pass any headers we'll pass like that so this is uh, the basic introduction of uh, Lumen so next we'll create a API authentication so first we'll set up the authentication system so that our front end can consume it so that we can know which user is making other requests so api authentication coming up next